Daytona Beach, Florida is home to Hankster's Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealership. If you are watching this presentation today on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website. That is hanksters.com. So we can find all of our most current inventory. We have over 13,000 YouTube subscribers, so we leave our videos up at all times for all those people to watch. They like to watch the amount of cars and quality and quantity of vehicle that roll through our showroom month after month, so we never take them down. However, when a vehicle is funded in full, it comes down off of our website, dropping it to the sold category, letting you know that it's no longer available. Check us out on Instagram as well. We're going to post vehicles such as this one prior to us doing our photo shoots and video shoots that we do in our showroom. So you might be able to get a jump on a car you might be in the market for uh, before it hits the website. And we also have a link there to our website and our gift shop that allows you to view all of our Hankster's apparel as well as a bunch of other cool garage type related items, signs, flags, banners, street signs, all kinds of cool stuff. Mopars are a hot commodity, and um, this one we uh, just got in. That's why we are doing a new photo and video shoot today. 1974 Plymouth Duster 360, non-numbers matching motor. The block is out of a 1978, so obviously when you have a 78 block and a 74 car, um, it couldn't have happened together, so therefore it is not the original motor. You do have power brakes, power steering, and air conditioning. Not only does this car have a great, oh by the way, no fender tag, so you won't see one in the photographs. This car has an excellent color combination. Uh, red paint, black accents, and black vinyl top, and then white interior. Also, this car is a four-speed car, so that's what's also going to make it desirable. Put the hood pins in here so that uh, when we do the test drive, we got those going on. Um, front bumper is in good condition, um, by no means perfect, but uh, you can see, you know, it doesn't look like a newer bumper. There's a little bit of uh, patina there on the top of it, but nothing too drastic that would cause uh, for the bumper to need to be replaced or anything. Uh, black hood scoop in the center of the red hood. Uh, gives it a nice accent, um, breaks up the red quite nicely. Do have hood pins there with uh, the cables. Duster designation on the driver's side front fender. Got your five star uh, wheels there with your BFG radial tires. Raised white letter that gives the car a, a nice look as well. Duster logo there on the front fender. Uh, body lines on the front fender are pretty, pretty good. Uh, black pinstriping going down the uh, side of the vehicle all the way to the uh, rear quarter where it says 360, which is obviously the motor underneath the hood. Um, your Window glass uh, all the way around the car is in pretty good condition. You do have some faint scratching here on, you know, some of the windows look to be, uh, they're older, you know, maybe not put in within the last 10 years or so, maybe a little older. So they do have a little light scratching, but nothing too drastic. Um, the vinyl top itself is in good condition. I don't see any uh, paint blisters or any, any kind of rust underneath the vinyl top on the driver's side. We'll check out the passenger side. Um, drip rail moldings are in pretty decent condition. A couple tiny dents and dings around them. You know, generally it happens uh, if maybe people don't have the right tools per se to put them on with. There's a couple of dings in the uh, drip rail moldings, but again, nothing too drastic. Check out the interior. What a great combination in this car. Uh, door panels, black at the top, black at the bottom, white in the center, black armrest. Great uh, combination going on there. Uh, we do have brand new floor mats in the car that we just bought uh, with the uh, iconic Duster logo. Pretty cool looking. As I mentioned, white interior, white bucket seats up front, driver and passenger. Four speed in the floor. No center console, but four speed vehicle. Uh, dash pad in the cars. Really nice. I don't see any um, cracks or tears in that. We'll take a closer look at the interior when we're in it. Upgraded auto meter gauges. Dome light does illuminate when you open up the uh, driver's side door. Headliners newer. Um, we got seat belts up front and seat belts in the rear. Do have two six by nine speakers up there in the uh, hat rack area. We'll see if those work when we uh, do the test drive as well. 
pretty nice uh, body lines on this vehicle. Um, the door fits nice to the uh, rear quarter and then nice to the lower rocker there. Shoot down the side of the car. Hopefully you guys can see um, the straight uh, panels. Start by looking at the way tippy top at the uh, driver's side front fender. Then continue back to the uh, door. Check out the door itself. There's no waves in the door. There's no waves in the rear quarter. <clears throat> Does have a rear uh, spoiler. Nice looking. It's flat black. That's an, again a nice, uh, with the rear black spoiler and the rear, uh, uh, rear. With the rear black spoiler and the uh, front hood scoop, it's really a nice two accent pieces to really offset the red in this car with the black vinyl top. It's a great color combination. Uh, rear bumper is about the same condition as the front bumper. They aren't, you can tell they aren't, you know, a year old or anything, but fairly newer. Um, none of the chrome is flaking. There's no uh, rust in either the front bumper or the rear bumper. You got your duster logo there um, on the uh, rear valance. A duster uh, written out on one side there in metal and then of course the sticker on the driver's side. Uh, the deck lid seems to fit good to the rear quarters. Um, the gaps appear to be uniform starting at the top by the window continuing back. Same on the uh, passenger side here. Uh, the clarity of the rear window is really uh, quite nice. It's a, it's a large rear window. You know, you do have your faint scratches as you're typically used to seeing in, you know, late 60s, early 70s muscle cars from restorations occurring, you know, people sandblasting, welding without covering up the rear windows. Um, but it, overall, it's a pretty decent uh, rear window, uh, clarity-wise. In the trunk, there's not much to show you. It's just painted black. Uh, no trunk mat, no spare, no jack. This is how we bought the car. Um, so when you see our video presentations and our photo shoots, if the vehicle has a spare and a jack in it, then it shows up that way. Same thing with the trunk mat. Um, if it doesn't, then uh, we kind of just leave them as we purchase them. That's what we have available. So no jack, no spare in the 74 Duster. Again, body lines down the passenger side are uh, about as good as the driver's side. Um, it's a fairly straight car. I mean, it's, uh, you know, uh, your stripes line up well on the uh, rear quarter, the door, and then the front fender. Um, you can see the door gaps. The uh, bottom of the door is not sticking out away from the rear quarter or uh, out past the rocker. Beauty rings on the car look to be in pretty decent condition. Um, again, we take nice close-up still photos of all our wheels and tires so that you can see those in the still photos. You can study those real well. Checking out the uh, passenger side. Again, the uh, black at the top of the door panel. It's not all cracked up or faded. Um, the door panel itself is in good condition. Same thing with the black armrest and then your carpeting at the uh, bottom of the door. I don't see any rips or tears in either uh, bucket seat up front, driver or passenger. And the white is, um, you know, when there's white in these cars, you know, in these Mopars especially, they have a tendency to want to, um, you know, have a yellow tint to them from uh, age. I would say the uh, front seats to me look newer than the back seats. You could tell that the back seat might be a, a shade darker than the uh, front two seats, but overall the white in this uh, car is in really nice condition. <clears throat> Both doors open and close with ease. They seem to have good gaps there. If you look at your uh, the, the rear of the passenger side door to the rear quarter and then the uh, front of the door to the front fender, seems to uh, have a pretty good fitment there. They look nice and uniform. Again, study the still photos for yourself. Um, you can tell there is, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, there's a little like speckles in the paint there where either the surface might not have been prepped 100% properly or there might have been some dirt in the booth when they sprayed it. It's very, very faint, but it is there. You want to, uh, you know, when I, I don't know if you guys can see it in the video, but when I roll the um, fluorescent lighting over it, you can see it there in the uh, top of the hood. <clears throat> it's not terrible. 1974 360 Plymouth Duster, steering brakes and air. Um, this is a driver quality car. 
We do these video presentations to try to put you guys as close to the car as we possibly can, whether it's this 74 Duster or any other vehicle we have in our building. We have generally close to anywhere between 80 to 100 photos of every single car that we do, along with a 15 to 20 minute video presentation, sometimes longer if there's documentation or if it's an exceptional car that we have to show you extras on. We invite and encourage all of our buyers, especially if you're a first time classic car buyer, to come to Daytona Beach in person to look at the car you are buying. These cars are not like buying a brand new vehicle off of the, uh, the lot at a, a Chevy store or a Dodge store or a Ford store. Um, these vehicles weren't built in 1974 with the precision paint and uh, body fitment and mechanics that we're used to today. Um, and you know, these cars might have had two, three motors in them. They might have had five, six, seven, 20 owners. You know, uh, by the way, I don't have any documentation on this car in terms of when the motor was rebuilt, when the training was rebuilt, number of owners. Um, it's not an actual miles car. The title reads exempt. Um, those are all things that we try to disclose in the videos so that you guys know. So if, uh, you know, no documentation is a, is a deal killer for you, then you can move on to the next car. And if it's not, then you can keep looking at this duster when we do the undercarriage presentation, when we do the test drive. We sell a lot of cars between our two showrooms sight unseen, and we are very successful doing it. Uh, we make a lot of people happy. But again, we encourage you guys to come in person, look at the paint. We'll pull it outside for you. You can check it over real good. Pop the hood, pop the trunk, crawl through the interior. We'd be happy to put it on a rack for you. We have two racks here um, in our showroom, one indoors, one outdoors. Well, we'll throw it in the air for you. You can check out the oil pan, check out the tranny pan, check out the floor pans, trunk pans, uh, rear quarters. We'll let you drive it. You can see um, you know, how the car performs, uh, what kind of horsepower it's putting out, how the transmission shifts. Uh, but if you can't make the Daytona, that's why we do these videos, because we try to do all of that for you. We are going to take it around the building real fast, throw it in the air, and we'll check out what the undercarriage looks like. And then it's a beautiful day in Daytona. We will go drive this 74 Duster and see how it runs out for you. Okay, underneath our 1974 Plymouth Duster, you have disc brakes up front. Um, somebody has cut the um, core support here to accommodate the uh, high flow radiator. You know, it's not hacked up, it's done nicely, but that is cut there to, uh, to fit that in. Um, the oil pan, if you look there, looks nice and dry on the driver's side and on the passenger's side. Uh, you guys can't see it, but the date code I was telling you about earlier in the showroom is on the side of the engine block, but the 360 is over there as well to indicate the 360. Again, you can't see it. It's up on the side of the block, but um, th those are there. Frame wheels look good. Passenger side and driver's side. Continuing back, the uh, cross members here that run uh, across the car uh, for the transmission looks to be in good condition. Do have a set of dual pipes here coming down off of your headers or I'm sorry, exhaust manifolds. Continuing back, the uh, floor pans look solid. There is some, you know, uh, very light undercoat present. You can see where that's floor pan, that's undercoat, that's floor pan, you know, that's floor pan. Um, it's heavier over here. Uh, we did not do that. We bought the car this way. But, um, you know, it's a good indication when there's not um, excessive undercoat, you know, that there's, there's not problems there. I don't know what's underneath those floor pans. I don't have x-ray vision, um, you know, but it, they seem to be, you know, nice and solid. There's no, you know, you can't push through. It's all nice and solid throughout from what I can see and tell. Uh, the rear frame rails on the passenger side and driver's side are, are, are good as well. Drum brakes in the rear. Leaf springs look to be in good shape, both sides. Uh, gas tank looks to be newer. Again, see how you have undercoating there and then solid there. You know, it's just somebody had undercoated the car at one time and there's pieces of undercoat that have flaked off. Um, Trunk pan looks to be in good shape too. 
I don't know if it's the original trunk pan or if it's been replaced, but you can see that it's all, um, it's all solid. There's no holes in that or anything. Uh, the rear frame rails as well. You can see um, going down the driver's side next to the fuel tank and the trunk pan. Nice and solid there. Same thing with the passenger side. And you feel the lips on the uh, quarters there. They look to be, you know, see that's metal there and that's metal there. So it's two pieces of metal joined together there. The um, outer edge of the quarter and the inner, inner skin. The uh, bumper support there is all nice and solid. Pretty good looking car underneath. Look at the chrome at the bottom of the uh, bumper there. Chrome tips that we showed you in the showroom. Pretty nice car. Financing is available on this vehicle if you're not a cash buyer. The collector car lenders will do a 5 to a 10 year loan on this vehicle. 10% of the purchase price down minimum and then a remaining balance over that 5, 7 or 10 year period, whatever you get approved for. You can put down more if you'd like to, but they're going to ask a minimum of 10% down no matter what your score is. Sometimes they may ask more if the score is a little weaker. If you're a cash buyer, we accept certified bank check from your bank or more commonly uh, bank wire transfer. Funds are generally there the same day on a wire transfer and we start preparing the car for shipment in order that they're funded. So there might be one car in front of yours, there might be four cars in front of yours. Our entire pre-delivery inspection process is recorded and you get a copy of that uh, inspection on the keychain when the car arrives along with this video presentation and all the photos we take in the showroom. Right now we're going to set this duster on the ground. We're going to take it out on the road and see how it runs out. 74 Plymouth Duster. Let's uh, run through the uh, stuff here. Horn. Working. Temp. Just started the car, but it is registering. Oil pressure. Tack. Battery voltage and fuel. I'm gonna have to have somebody put some fuel in this thing. 928.3 is what the odometer reads. The title reads exempt. I'm going to roll up the window on the car because we have air and it works. There's high. Um, so I just got to figure out, I just had it blown ice cold in the showroom until I play with the knobs, so i figure out how to get it to blow cold again. There we go. There it is. Okay, so it's blown cold. 95.7. Radio. That's working. Um, turn signals. Driver's side. Passenger side. They both function. Wipers. I don't like to drag them too long across the windshield, um, but they are functioning. Uh, as I mentioned, carpeting's newer. Floor mats are brand new. Hopefully you can see that. Someone has painted something or other in the uh, dash there, so those are permanently there. I mean, that's painted black. Somebody painted it black, but it looks like maybe somebody had some stickers there at one time or something. Um, so those are there. The dash pad's real nice in the car. Headliner's new. Like I said, the back seat, check it out. You'll be able to see it in still photos too. It's pretty white, but the uh, front seats are just a tad whiter. This car has a real stiff clutch in it, so um, you know, be aware of that if you're thinking about buying it. If you know, for your wife or something, or maybe some women drivers out there, uh, it is a stiff clutch. So, uh, must be a new clutch and pressure plate because uh, stiff, but it shifts fantastic and runs fantastic. We're going to show you that right now. <laughs> the AC's blowing so cold in the car, I'm going to turn it down. Amazing. It's a nice running duster. Um, speedometer's functioning. It was right on the money. 
pack's functioning. We're in third. I'm at three grand. I'm going to go to fourth. Car has good pickup, good acceleration. Track straight. Let go of the wheels. Track it perfectly straight. Response in the wheels fantastic. Look at that. Nice tight steering. Our temp gauge is about 170. We've been running now for about 10 minutes. The air's blown cold. Shifter's not shaking. Steering wheel's not shaking. We're going to make sure nobody's behind me here. Brake. Stops perfectly straight. No vibration in the brakes at all. Doesn't pull to one side or the other. We're running through the gears here a little bit. Hopefully, if we can get this school bus out of the way. It does have a nice, uh, nice pickup. on the wheel, track straight. It's got some horsepower. It's not the uh, most powerful car I've ever driven. It's not a dog by any stretch of the imagination. It's I've driven stronger 360s, stronger 340s, but I've also driven weaker ones. It's a nice car. It's a nice driver quality 74 Duster. I mean, you have steering brakes in there. You got a red car. You got a four-speed car. Got an upgraded gauge package, got brand new floor mats, newer carpeting, newer paint on the car, straight body lines, nice undercarriage, everything works, even the radio, so it's turnkey, you don't need to do anything. Good deal. If you are interested in this duster, 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Drop it in the first. We're at a traffic light. See the RPM there? See how it's holding nice and steady for us? See your temp? It's not even at 180 yet. Like I said, we are in Daytona Beach. I already rattled off the phone number. Hangsters.com is our website. It's where you can find all of the photos of this vehicle today, along with this video presentation we're doing for you right now full retail price this car includes shipping in the lower 48 United States it also includes a 12 month 12,000 mile powertrain warranty the price of the car is negotiable somewhat negotiable but if we negotiate the price of the car the warranty comes off it's good at full retail price only and uh, the shipping we can set it up for you but uh, you will need to pay the driver on delivery or you're welcome to use your own carrier. If you have a carrier you've used in the past you're comfortable with, you can drive to Daytona with your own trailer. You can trailer at home with you. Or if you're local to us here in Florida, you can certainly uh, you know, drive it home. I get asked a question a lot. You know, I live in Ohio. Is it cool if I come down to Daytona Beach and pick it up and drive it home? I'll tell you the same thing I tell everybody that asks me that question. I would not recommend it, but once it's your car, you do whatever you want with it. Think about it. You're going to get in a car that you've never driven before, you're unfamiliar with, and you're going to make a 13, 14, 15, 100 mile trip. You know, you don't know what can happen in a 10 year old car, let alone a 50 year old car that you've never driven before. So, but uh, we've had people do it. You know, people like to make a road trip out of it. If you want to be one of those people, you're more than welcome. Again, not something I would do or recommend, but to each is their own. i show you more, but I got this Honda in front of me. We would love to earn your business, add you to our growing base of customers. Not only throughout the United States, see I just shot thumbs up. Not only throughout the United States, but throughout the world. Hangsters Hot Rods, Daytona Beach, Florida, hangsters.com. Please check us out.